Hi, my name is Muhammad Shahir bin Fitri. I will present to you the introduction of our project. Our group chose the lecture room at the campus Banda Parit Raja. We choose this room because we want to know the acoustical, the reverberation time and background noise, also the lighting performance of this room. We also to evaluate the acoustic and lighting design of the room referring to the suitable standard. According to the Department of Occupational and Health, good lighting contributes to the safety and health at the world workplace by enabling employees to perform their work comfortably and efficiently under Occupational Safety and Health OSHA 1994. For provision and maintenance of plan and system of work to ensure safety and without risk to health. Make, arrange make arrangement to ensure safety and absence of risks to health in connection with the use of operation, handling, storage and transport of plan and substance and others. Guideline for acoustic. According to the Department of Environment, the guideline should be used in new and existing project planning that may not necessarily require an environmental impact assessment EIA. The first one is measurement of noise level are necessary for any following purpose, assessing and existing noise climate. Indoor measurement are dependent on the severity of the outdoor noise source and sound illusion properties of the building facade, acoustic characteristic of the interior face space, and any outdoor noise source that may be present. Other noise generated within the building not related to the offending outdoor noise should be excluded excluded in the assessment. Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Gariza Atira binti Razali. I will continue this video with procedure of measurement. In this project, student needs to perform two measurements, which is acoustical and lighting performance. Acoustical elements were measured for reverberation time and background noise. This measurement was to evaluate the acoustic design for, of the space referring to suitable standard and specification using suitable technology. For this measurement, five main equipment were needed. First equipment is sound pressure level and the transmitter. Next is sound source with tripod, then calibrator and lastly amplifier. Lighting measurement also need to be done in this project. Two equipment were used during the measurement which is the lux meter and laser meter. In lighting measurement, height of the lux meter was depending on the points where the measurement taken. For the point located at student study area, then the height of the lux meter was same as the height of table. If the point located at teaching area, the height of measurement was center of body. My name is Anguisian. Now I'm going to present the analysis of revolution time and the background noise of the room. The revolution time and background noise of the room took place in the lecture hall, campus Banda Yudishem. A total of five points were used to measure the revolution time, while the background noise of the room has only measured at one point, which was str 5 the result of the room's reverberation time and background noise were analyzed through Microsoft Excel and the reverberation time versus frequency of each point are analyzed and shown in graphical form. To calculate the reverberation speech of each point, this formula was used and the reverberation speech results of each point as shown in the table. And this is background noise of the room. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Sulaimi Firstly, my matrix number is F190121 So, I'll be continuing by presenting the analysis of illuminance level of the room So, the parameters of illuminations Illuminance level were measured using a TESTO 480 portable measuring instrument Where measurement probes were placed 1 meter above the floor next to the respondent during all hours so, luminance levels were measured within the light network. So, a grid of 1 meter times 1 meter was applied on the layout of the lecture hall to pinpoint the crop value when measuring the data. So, I'll be showing you the data tabulated and recorded after the process. So, this is the data of luminance level of the lecture hall. So, next, we are using contouring technique to determine the elevations of various points, which is the differences of the luminance level. So in this case, uh, we want to know the differences of luminance levels in the latch hole. So this is the control. <clears throat> so based on the data collected and the applications of the controlling techniques, so we have shown that the measurements of average lighting quality improvement for acoustic. The increase the level that might indicate a room acoustic. Quality is a reverberation time. In addition to noise level, reverberation time is the acoustical parameter that is most frequently, frequently emphasized in acoustic standard. There are few suggestions to improve the acoustic. The first one, absorbing panel were installed. It helped to reduce echo and reverberation in a space as well as a background noise. The second one is 
Instead of using side wall as a standard, the side absorption coefficient of the ceiling finish material was changed to alter the reverberation time. The third one is turn off machine and equipment when not in use. It helped to better the re in re reduction in reverberation time. So I'll be continuing with the lighting improvement. So we have three improvements. Since lighting that is optimized can improve performance, and there are recognized best practices for the lighting setups that work best in our environment. So the first one would be improving the lighting by switching out the cold and warm white bulbs for rare earth ones. Uh, since rare earth which have better color quality and frequently provide more light. So due to rare earth, energy efficient light bulbs may operate with 75 cents less any electricity. So the second one would be uh, replacing a uh, electric bellows uh, from magnetic ballast. Electronic ballasts are more efficient, more effective and lighter. They also allow for continuous power adjustment at different settings. The last one uh, <coughs> would be uh, recessed lighting. Uh, recessed lights are crucial since they significantly extend the space. Since they provide additional lighting without taking up more space, they are known as lights that are installed directly into ceiling, wall or other surfaces. Uh, by moving the lights, designer may greatly increase the amount of open space in a compact area. Thank you. In conclusion, the main qualities of good room acoustic design are minimal reverberation time, new from sound distribution, and a low background noise. Poor acoustic condition in the classroom can harm the health and performance of lecture, and in terms of the quality of learning environment for students. So the very first important parameter to assess for classroom acoustic is the reverberation time, and the second important parameter is the background noise level. Usually, the background noise is generated by the ventilation or heating system and other sources from adjacent room. And also, the lightning is an important consideration for effective classroom design. In terms of the illuminance of the classroom, an effective classroom lightning scheme will make use of any allowable natural light and add artificial lightning where necessary. So, incorporating natural light can provide physical and physiological benefits for students and lecturers. So, natural light has been shown to benefit student health, concentration, and even exam performance. Conclusion, the acoustic and lightning of the one Kulia campus panda has exceeded the standard as the result of them for the average reverberation speech is ranging between 1.8 to 2.06 and the background noise is 40.83 dBA and the average lightning is 383 lux. In conclusion, the acoustic and lightning design of the space for the lecture hall in campus panda has exceeded the standard and specification requirement so that the acoustic and lightning design should be improved to enhance the quality of the learning environment for the students.